Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Better days ahead. I'm going to uh, Rockingham Community College for my um, associate's degree. I plan on attending Johns Hopkins University, and I also plan on playing basketball there. I'm going to UNC Charlotte to study systems engineering. Congratulations, members of the class of 2021. You know it didn't come easy, but you worked hard and you earned it. Thank you. Congratulations. No amount of remote learning, hand sanitizer, mask wearing, or social distancing could keep GCS seniors from still being recruited by the nation's top universities and being well prepared for their world beyond graduation. Fall semester, um, I'm actually going to be at basic training. Whether it's headed to college, a career, or serving our country, service to others is instilled in GCS graduates. Tell me what he says when he sees his... Your product of dedicated teachers, caring educators who've helped guide and encourage in the classroom and beyond. Thank you. Just thank you for everything. I appreciate you all and I love you all. You carry with you an education from a school district with a collective vision and compassion. Known nationally for its leadership in innovation, science and technology, to the arts. So with pride of a job well done, the senior class embarks on tomorrow with hopes and dreams and a solid foundation on which to build a bright future. What's your plans? Cosmetology school. I'm going to be attending East Carolina. I'm going to be attending App State next year. My plan is to become a sociologist. Hey, I'll be going to UNCG in the fall for nursing, so I'm ready to go to college. I'm headed to Virginia Tech, and I'm going to study um, mechanical engineering. Congratulations, class of 2021.
Welcome, and please remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the Northeast Guilford High School, JROTC, and for the playing of the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance led by Paige Abbott. Please remain standing until the colors have been retired. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good morning, Phoenix Nation, and to the 19th graduating class of the Early College of Guilford. The class of 2021 has had numerous achievements both in and out of the classroom. Our 48 seniors will represent ECG and Guilford County Schools at over 20 colleges next year, with some campuses here in North Carolina and others with destinations such as California, Indiana, Massachusetts, and Texas, just to name a few. Scholarship highlights included 13 National Merit finalists, 173 academic scholarships, including a Park Scholarship at NC State University, a four-year scholarship to Yale University, a QuestBridge Scholar to Boston University, and a Purdue University Emerging Leader Scholarship, culminating with them earning over, wait for it, $12 million in scholarships. Not only are they academically gifted, but they're very conscious about their community. This class received 27 Guilford County Schools Service Learning Diplomas and 21 Service Learning Certificates, serving over 10,000 hours as a class. The early college is losing a very special group of students who have been an integral part to the success of ECG and our success being named the number one school in North Carolina, as well as a number 20 ranking nationally. I want to thank them for embracing and supporting each other, 
through an unprecedented time in our history and for the kindness and support they've shown me. I appreciate you, I am proud of you, and I look forward to putting the class of 2021 on my office wall as my first graduating class from ECG. A message to the class of 2021. Be reminded that successful people do not give up. They continue to find ways to be successful. Decide to not let fear of the unknown stop you. Let hard work and resiliency continue to shape and guide you. Continue to take action and know that each new day brings new challenges and new opportunities for achievement and purpose. Thanks to you, Phoenix Nation continues to soar for when excellence becomes tradition, greatness has no limits. We will miss you all, and congratulations. I am proud to recognize and introduce Paige Abbott, who will introduce our platform guests and will deliver our commencement address. Paige is our student body president and has a 4.82 grade point average and will attend American University, majoring in education and political science next year. I'd also like to recognize Paige's parents and ask them to please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Paige Abbott. Good morning and congratulations to the class of 2021. I am Paige Abbott, Student Council President. Please join me in welcoming our Chief of Schools and Board of Education member. Please stand to be recognized. Also, please welcome our administrative staff and the ECG Teacher of the Year, along with the administration from Guilford College. Please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Alrighty. Good morning, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, parents, family and friends, and the class of 2021. Thank you for celebrating with us as we end this chapter in our lives. So much hard work has led up to this day, and each of you has held a vital role in supporting our successes, which allow us to be here. Today is the day to be grateful, be proud, and celebrate once and for all. To my beloved peers, you are some of the most stubborn people I have ever met, but I say that with admiration and respect because it means that we have accomplished so much over the past four years. I've had to accept this year that Google Forms responses and ticket sales are not the end-all be-all mark of a good class. Instead, you guys did things your way. Despite four years at the toughest high school in North Carolina, we built resumes. We got internships, wore suits and ties, and attended competitions. We won state and national titles. We self-studied for AP exams. We aced those AP exams and Guilford College ones too. We got scholarships, went to competitive summer programs, completed professional research studies, created statewide tutoring programs, and spoke at conferences. We published papers, made the news, took organic chemistry as 17-year-olds, studied computer programming with MIT, built websites and summer camps, and donated money, food, glass, clothes, and time. We joined varsity teams and won for them, led musicals and cheer squads. We took levels of math our parents could never hope to understand, memorized the presidents and the Greek alphabet, 
and housed the most dedicated robotics teams this school has ever seen. Of course, if we were to think for one second that our priorities and stubbornness alone won us these battles, we would be missing the point entirely. We have been provided an incredible opportunity to even be here in this field house right now instead of graduating in a class of over 400 people across the street. As we all look back on this day, we should remember the supports that got us here. Who drove us to countless competitions? Who bought us textbooks and school supplies and made us breakfast before the first day of kindergarten? Who reached out after a low grade and pushed back test dates because everyone seemed a little too stressed? Who sacrificed their summers to grade AP exams, then taught us everything they learned so we could ace them the next year? Who reminded us of deadlines, brought us ice cream on our worst days, and cheered for us on our best? There are so many people in our lives that constantly showed up to push us further, expand our limits, and calm us down when we went too far. Parents, teachers, administrators, family, and friends helped us build the fortitude and character that led to our trophies, scholarships, GPAs, proudest moments, and of course, diplomas. In spite of all our individual wins, in your own ways, you guys still managed to show up for one another. You brought cakes to biology and shared pencils on exam days. You lied about your hours of sleep on the first day of school and cheered with donuts on the last. You screamed questionable lyrics at school dances, learned songs for French class, and even created the biggest bop this school has ever seen for Mr. ECG this year. You ate tea cakes and cookout milkshakes in full prom attire and climbed a mountain in 90 degree heat just to spend a little more time with each other. All of this is to say that I commend you for your stubbornness because the world needs stubborn people like you, people dead set on changing things for the better. All of your hard work over the past four years has shown me that each and every one of you has what it takes to make incredible progress in this world. And I have so much faith in you all to continue to do what's right for the rest of your lives whether it's building sustainable public works or inventing medical technologies this world desperately needs. Great things are in store. I am confident that they're starting sooner than all of you think because I forgot to mention one more giant thing that every single one of you did. We got into college. And I cannot wait to see what all of you, my lovely, compassionate, innovative, intelligent, stubborn classmates, friends, do next. Thank you. Junior Marshals and Ushers, please take your positions for the awarding of diplomas.
Paige Victoria Abbott. Caden Alford. Sarah Ali. Tula Ashokan. Rochin Bakthisaran. Elizabeth Margaret Bickle. Tara Christine Balmer. Catherine Nicole Brown. Sarah Cloutier. Trevor Richard Craig. Sam Gilmore. Rowan Gupta. Ellen Han. Adam Harris. Taha Haveliwala. Roa Bashir Ibnaov. Raul Chandrasekhar Jakati. Nathan Wayne Johnson. Rithika Janalagada. Shivani Ramanarayana Karanth. Harris Khan. Emma Rose Knapp. Sambi Korsapati. Anya Lillian Law. Grace Frances Lofton. Julian Maycock. Alexander Miroshninchenko. Alma Aurora Abuerto. Maya Janae Moore. <laughs> Helen Sarah O'Connell.
Hannah Minyong Oh. Salil Mizar Pai. Joshua Chan Park. Sydney Sarah Partika. Caitlin Elizabeth Pelican. Ellen Margaret Schmidt. Abdullah Mohammed Shaheed. Arul Sharma. Casey Alexandra Schultz. Sarvesh Somasandram. Andrew Song. Audrey Diana Tony. Jacob Vickers. Annie Vo. Lindsay Jade Watson. Janice Wong. Yao Nimicha Yaboa. Zamiara Rose Zarsona. Mr. Matson, please join me at the podium. Seniors, please stand. Chief of Schools, Mr. Matson, these students have met all requirements for graduation and are recommended for their high school diplomas. Excellent. By the power granted to me by the state of North Carolina and the Guilford County Board of Education, and upon receiving verification of your credentials by the faculty of your school and principal, Dr. Pete Cachabera, I offer you my personal congratulations and recognize you with all the rights and privileges as graduates of the early college at Guilford. Congratulations, you may turn your tassels. You can have a seat. So do you remember the senior reflection form I asked you to fill out? 
you actually did very well. The last question I said to you, I have the honor of naming your class. And I asked you, just tell me some words that come to mind when you think of your grade. So I was excited and curious as I opened my laptop, scrolled to the bottom of the first response, which gave me one word, discombobulated. I was like, hmm. The second response expanded on the first. Not going to lie, kind of chaotic. Not necessarily in the bad way, just due to the pandemic. We've been all over the place. Other one-word answers included COVID, goofy, athletic, silent, flexible, remote, and chill. In fact, the most common word amongst your grade was chill. What to name your class? While Paige, Sanvi, and others who have tried to organize your chaotic chill class may have run into stubborn, I have observed something else. In March 2020, your lives dramatically changed in ways none of us could have foreseen. What we thought would be weeks turned into months, and now well over a year. Instead of racing out the door, maybe calling to a parent to say, where are my keys? Your daily life turned into computer screen warnings. Your Wi-Fi is unstable. And voices in black boxes calling out, we can't hear you, you're muted. You have and are living through extraordinary times. And you have and are responding in extraordinary ways. I want you and your families to know that not one of you has complained to me one time in the past 15 months about all that you've had to juggle with learning online, taking exams, searching for college, colleges, completing community hours, hanging with your friends all online. That doesn't mean this past year has, hasn't been challenging. It has been. It certainly has in so many different ways. And it's not about what you've accomplished. It's about how you've handled it. You've demonstrated maturity beyond your years. You've shown that strength is knowing when to ask for help. That no matter how demanding or hard things get, that none of us can make it our way through any hurdles by ourselves. Your resilience determination and kindness to each other and to me have been nothing short of extraordinary. For these reasons, class of 2021, you are the extraordinary class. Congratulations. I am pleased to present these alumni to be the first official inductees to the Early College at Guilford's Alumni Association. As students, they have chosen honor and service as their hallmarks. Seniors, I mean, well, graduates, please stand and repeat after me. I state your name, do solemnly promise to faithfully fulfill my duties as a graduate of the Early College at Guilford. I will endeavor to earn my own place among alumni, and I do solemnly pledge to aid fellow members in all worthy endeavors. I commit myself to the highest standards of service to my community. I will provide moral and intellectual support through the Alumni Association. and I will encourage others to contribute and participate in the activities and noble work of the Alumni Association. I now acknowledge you as a member of the ECG Alumni Association. I salute you and your accomplishments and charge you to explore the truth and to dedicate yourselves to staying connected to the early college of Guilford as we look forward to celebrating your continued successes. Thank you.